Hello, my name is Sarah Patterson, and I'm a structural engineer in the New York City office of Dewberry. I'm also a licensed professional engineer in the state of New York. Here at Dewberry, we have a vast experience in the design of pedestrian bridges. We recently completed the design of 31 spans for the Dulles Silver Line Phase 2 project in Washington, D.C. When starting the design, and determ the determining factor of a bridge is the location of the bridge. ASHTO defines the bridge as any structure having an opening not less than 20 feet that forms part of a highway or is located above or below a highway. This means that if the pedestrian bridge is spanning a highway, ASHTO is the required code. If this is not the case, IBC may be used. ASHTO refers designers to the LRFD guide specifications for the design of pedestrian bridges. This guide includes all loading requirements and limiting states. IBC refers designers to ASCE, AISC, or ACI. Some differences in the code requirements are the live load. ASHTO requires 90 pounds per square foot live load, while IBC requires 100 pounds per square foot. For wind load requirements, the LRFD guide refers designers to the standard specification for structural supports for highway signs, luminaires, and traffic signals, or ASHTO signs, while IBC references ASCE. ASHTO also has additional requirements for fatigue loading for in vibrations. Load combinations vary between the codes. IBC and ASHTO both have their own strength and service design combinations, while ASHTO has additional combinations for extreme event and fatigue. I hope this information has been helpful. Thank you.